Welcome back to my flower series. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this macrame daisy. Stay tuned. And don't forget to take a screenshot of today's project details. Now let's get started. With your first cord, fold it in half to find the center. And then you're going to want to shorten the right side of your cord so that your left is longer. Pin that to your board and we're going to do the same thing but on the opposite side in reverse. So now your two center cords are the shortest and your outer cords are the longest. Then we're going to tie a square knot. And don't forget, if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to adjust the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner. Or if you need more help with your knots, feel free to check out my knot tutorial playlist. I'll link it in the cards above. Okay, so since the first knot looked a little bit tricky, I'm going to keep the second knot in real time for you. So to tie a square knot, you pull the left cord over top of your two centers, wrap your right cord behind and through the loop of the left. Then you repeat the same process but in reverse. You put the right cord over top of your middle center cords, and then the left cord behind and through the loop of the right. We will be doing a total of five square knots. So I'm just going to motor along, and when we're finished our five, it should look something like this. Okay, so put your pedal off to the side, and next we're going to repeat the same process again, but this time we're only going to be tying four square knots. And here are the two in comparison. You can see that one is a little bit shorter than the other. You will be needing a total of six of the longer pedals and six of the shorter petals. Next, grab your eight strands of yellow cord and give them a good brush so that they're nice and straight. Then grab your butcher's twine and place your yellow cord in the center. And then tie a double overhand knot and cinch it really tight. What we're doing here is making a pom-pom out of the yellow cord. So fold it in half and straighten it out. And what I find helps is giving an additional comb, followed by a good trim. Place him off to the side and then grab your petals. Now, this is a very easy flower. However, this is the trickiest part. We have several petals that we're gonna have to juggle here. So to pull this daisy together, you place the larger petals around the outside bottom and then the shorter petals on top. However, try to stagger your shorter petals between the larger ones. When you're halfway around placing your petals, grab your center stamen and put it right in the middle. And don't worry, this is gonna be a jumbled mess until we pull it all together. Once you have it somewhat arranged, grab your last cord and make a loop at the end. Place that loop facing downwards on your daisy and then with the longer tail end, wrap it around your flower and be careful not to get it caught like I am here. This is called a gathering knot and what we're gonna be doing is wrapping this long tail end all the way around our flower until we reach the bottom of our loop. Okay, so once we've made it all the way to the bottom of our loop, we're gonna take our long tail end that we were working and we're gonna place it right through the center of our loop. Then grab the shorter tail end at the top and we're going to pull on that so that it hides our loop in through our wrapped cords. And this is how you tie a gathering knot. Oh, and don't forget to snip off the excess cord. Okay, so this is where a flower really starts coming together. So what I like to do is I go along and pull every single cord so that our petal lies flat. And make sure you leave the center stem in last. Give that a good tug, and that is how you create a macrame daisy. If you have a flower request, please drop it in the comments below, and I will get to it shortly. I'll see you in the next one.